What's up guys, today we're looking at the new Olight S2 baton. This is the big brother to the S1 baton. Uh, this has a turbo max output of 950 lumens. So you can see the size, it's a little bigger, it's a little bit longer, but for the general design, the side clip, the side button, um, the general layout, the operation is all the same. Uh, so like I said, on turbo we have 950 lumens and then after two minutes that actually drops down to 500 lumens um, around where the S1 uh, baton is. Um, on high we have 400 lumens at 245 minutes. Medium we have 80 lumens at 19 hours. Low we have 10 lumens at 144 hours and moonlight just 0.5 lumens at 60 days. The light itself is made from a 6061-T aluminum alloy structure. It does have a type 3 hard anodizing, which prevents from scrapes if you were to drop it. It does have an impact resistance of 1.5 meters. The throw on this guy is 142 meters, and we do have an IPX-8, so this is totally submergible up to two meters or six feet. Now there's a few different ways you can buy this, but I got mine specifically from skybend.trade. And when you get one from them, you actually get an included XTAR charger so you can charge the battery and also a little battery carrying silicon um, case to carry your 18650s. Uh, I did want to point out that the uh, S2 does also run off of two CR123s. There's a little adapter here if you wanted to use two CR123s. Now, when you use the CR123s, your times may um, be a little different, not quite as much as using the 18650. Also, when you buy from skybend.trade, they include a little holster so you can clip it onto a belt or clip it onto a backpack and um, carry your S2 that way. Uh, a lanyard is also included. I really like Olight's attention to details. I've said it before, I'll say it again, just like they add that little pin right there. So that way when you add your lanyard, it just makes the process super easy to add the lanyard or take off the lanyard. All right, so let's take a look at the operation of this guy real quick. We just have the side switch and that turns the light on and off. So just a single press turns it on and off. Then once it's on, you can do a long press and that will cycle through the modes. Or you can hold down and that will cycle through the modes as well. Now to access the moonlight, you actually, from the off position, you hold down and continue to hold down until the moonlight pops on. And you can see it's actually on there. It's a real faint moonlight, just enough light to see um, what's around you and to get the job done uh, and then you turn it off. Now this does not have a lockout feature. Um, some of the Olights have a lockout feature but this one does not so if you keep holding it down it's just gonna go ahead and turn on the moonlight. So also from the off position we can double press and that will activate the highest and from any one we're on, so say we're on medium there, I can triple press and get the strobe. And then it's just a one press after that will turn the strobe off. So this also has a timer feature um, to turn, you turn this on and then it will turn off on its own after three or nine minutes. So to activate the timer, what you would do, you turn it on in any setting, you can have it on any brightness that you want. Let's just say I have it on low there and I'll double press the side button and you'll see it blink once. Now after three minutes, this will shut off. Now let's say if I wanted the nine minute timer, I'll, du or I'll double press again, and you'll see it blink twice. Now that activates the nine minute timer. So after nine minutes, this will turn off. Now this light is magnetic. There is a magnet here on the back, which makes it great for being a hands-free light just to put to the hood or um, stick to the ceiling. Uh, there is a removable side clip, and that's a heavy-duty side clip. I mean, it shouldn't slide off on its own. I had to use quite a bit of force there. 
but it just buckles on there. Um, one thing on the front here, the LED used is a Cree XM-L2CW and is just super bright. So there you go, not much more to say about it. Um, between this one and the S1, they're very similar. This one just has a little bit more substance, um, longer battery times, a little bit brighter of a light. I'll do a comparison soon between the S1 and the S2 just so you can see um, how big of a difference you're actually going to get with the 950 lumens compared to the 500 lumens um, between these two lights. So there you go, the Olight S2 baton. Definitely check this one out. Perfect for everyday carry. Thanks for watching.